Just to show you guys, here I am dropping the stuff off. Those pants, I know this lady's going to like these because those will fit her. There's the food. There's the water gun. So two bags of food, granola, brand new pair of pants for her. Dropping it off to Rebecca's house. So she's got to, she doesn't even know I'm here yet. I'm going to text her and tell her it's all outside. She's, she's got her house so nice, you know. It's really pretty. She she don't have much. But she's got, I believe she's got a rich boyfriend. But I don't know if he gives, who knows. But anyways, she's a really good person. And she helps everybody in this neighborhood that doesn't have anything. That's another thing. Because this is the same neighborhood as mine on the other side. Actually, this seems to be better to me. Seems to be a lot better. A lot better. I don't know why. I think my ma even said that when, when she was alive. My ma grew up where I, where I live, which is odd enough. And actually down this street, there's a big piece of land that's nothing on it. That was my ma's elementary school, Harding Elementary. And I about died when I figured that out. I'm like, oh my God, my mother. This is how I think. Does anybody else think like this? I think to myself, oh my God, my mother walked when she was a little girl, she walked on that cement, walked on that grass. Her, I wonder what was going through her little mind at these times. That's how I think all the time when I think of my mother. They got one pretty sunflower plant growing all by itself. The house is just kind of pretty. They got some nice flowers and stuff, but I just like it. It's pretty. Nice stuff. The, the, very more well taken care of than where I live. And this is the same street, but separated by a major street. And then they got a real nice, at the end of the street, they got this beautiful park. I wish I lived on this side of the street. Because you can go there and sit, and they got bleachers or whatever. for game, But it's, just, it's very quiet. That's a nice park down there. Really nice park. You walk, walk two houses away. I wish we lived here. And this was my mother's street Ford. I don't know. These are some kind of apartments for poor people too or whatever. I'm sure they're not cheap. But I'm going to try to show you my mother's house if I remember. My grandpa built it and my ma said he dug out the basement. But my, yeah, my ma lives lived when she was a little girl on the other side from me. Yeah, I can always pick up my grandpa's house because it has this flagpole here. This was my grandma and my grandpa's house. It's just a little house, but he had an extra lot. This whole extra lot was his, and there was all kinds of pine trees and roses here. And my grandpa, there's a, there's a garage back there. I just, and my grandparents walked this land and they're not here no more, and that hurts me. And my mother, and my aunt's still here. But that just, you know, they're all not here no more. It just kills me. My mother, my father, my grandma, my grandpa, my other grandma, grandpa, all my aunts and uncles, but except one. And every time I see this, if you went in Maine, like in Maine or Massachusetts, a house like this would be over a million dollars. I just love the coloring of this house. Every time I see it, it is just beautiful. This would be like over a million dollars. Yeah, they'd have fixed up the grass and the grounds, but the house, that style is awesome. See too, this is what's different about this neighborhood where my mom grew up and my husband a lot of people bought extra lots. Some houses are bigger than others. Some are smaller than others. A lot of these are two bedroom on a crawl space, but then people added on. So it's a lot of stuff like that, it, you know? So yeah, like there's a whole extra lot nobody uses over there, you know? And here's a whole extra lot, some kind of daycare or something now. But anyways, I wanted to show you, this was a street my mother walked up and down her whole life, Ford Street, F-O-R-D. All our streets are named after cars, which I didn't know my mother-in-law taught me. The street I live on with my husband, Hup, I'm going to just say it, Hup, H-U-P-P, -P, um, was a car. I didn't know there was a car named Hup, so I thought that was kind of, you know, different. So, yeah, it, it, 
just, I didn't know that. Because my mom lived on Ford. There's Cadillac. There's all these street names. But, um, anyways, I just wanted to see if anybody else feels and thinks about maybe where their parents grew up or where they grew up. Do you feel the same way? Lisa sharing life stories with you. I'm driving down the street. And I'm going to go pay a bill. And I'm going to go weed whack and do all that and get all that done. Then I'm finally caught up with the yard work. What really put the bummer in it, I probably would have went more yesterday. But there was a praying mantis, a huge one. And I don't do well with them. And I know they're out there. I just don't want it ever flying on me. Because if one ever flew on me, that would be it. I'd be dead. I'd have to go to the hospital and be comatose for a couple of weeks or something. That's how bad I am with them. I hate them bugs. Anyways, Lisa and June bugs. Lisa sharing life stories with you. Like and subscribe because this is about real life and feelings. And I want to know yours. Please tell me if you have any feelings. Did I stir up any emotions and feelings in you watching this video talking about my mom and everything. I love you all. God bless.